is a uh, lesson that I did in a book called Country, uh, Country in Rock Solos, Country, Country Rock Guitar Solos, uh, <clears throat> something like that. Um, and it had a sound sheet in it. And uh, it had, I worked on it for a long, long time getting all these simulated steel guitar bends going on. Now, I did it many years ago when my hands were a little stronger. And uh, plus I practiced it for a long, long time before I went to record it. But I want to show you, if you're interested in doing these kind of things, if you're ever working with a country band or, or even if you're working with other groups and, you know, there's always a, a pop country song thrown in there or a classic. And it's nice to sometimes emulate a steel guitar. You know, it, if you're sitting next to a steel guitar player, it doesn't even come close. But if there isn't one around, it, it's a reasonable facsimile. So we're doing a lot of these... <laughs> A lot of these kind of things. Um, and this first one, the slow country swing, we're going to take this style and uh, work on some of these tight voicings that a country what my player might play, play have. And it helps to have a whammy bar. So let's get into it. And uh, I know you're going to enjoy this lesson. I've got a couple of more. Uh, several of these other lessons to go, but this is the start of it. So jump on board and let's ride into the sunset, cowboy, and let's get this stuff done. It's fun. Here we go. One thing I wanted to talk about is guitar setup. <clears throat> the older I get, <clears throat> and I'm a lot more limber now, um, but um, and I can play fast. But hand strength is, has gone. So what I've done is I've restrung this guitar. I've taken tens, but the middle three strings, the second, third, and fourth strings are from eights. So I've got 11, a 14, and a 22. And that's how I can bend without killing myself. And so that's my solution to this problem. So you might want to think about that. Restring this stuff. Uh, it helps to have. Uh, sometimes, if you're too close up here, you got to hold. You know, you got to hold the guitar up to. For me, anyways, to get these kind of stretches. You see. So. By the way, I wanted to mention when I first started teaching at GIT, they introduced me and they took me into the lunch room. And uh, um, introduced me to all the guitar players, and, and Steve Travato was there. Steve is a super hot country picker. He can play anything, actually. But he said, hey, Rich Seaver said, hey, listen to this. And he sat down and he did this. He did exactly what we're going to do right now. And I thought, wow. Steve learned my stuff. I thought, what a compliment. Thank you, man. How sweet. And it sure broke the ice. Made me feel right at home. So, this is a good thing. We, he used to teach it at GIT. And a lot of this stuff out of my country book he used to teach. And I was very honored that he did that. So, it's good stuff. Let's get into it with some close-ups. Here we go. We're starting. 